I'm going to go over the key for the acupuncture board, how to do some mnemonics and use them to study for your board points and how when you take your board test, the pictures stand out and you know if it is a seven or a five because sometimes I'll put those numbers in there real close. So I'm going to go over um, how we did a key to help us and we just wrote the key down on each study page and we started studying each day just wrote it out one to ten didn't know if we were going to use it or not but we did and it worked really well so this is a key and the theme is camping what I'll do is I'll put out uh, let's see one let's put one two three and four on there. So, you know, we have a branch because obviously it looks like a one, one branch. Oh, it doesn't even look like a branch anymore. It's just. <laughs> Funny branch. Okay, so you have a branch and then we have shoes. And a snake. Wow, it's hard to write with this pen. How fun. Snake, let's try that again. How about that? Yeah, that's a snake. And then a sailboat with four is because it looks like a sail. Looks like a four. water there and to save time let's go ahead and put the other numbers on with their pictures so we have five beehive six because a six the golf club turned can look like a six and then the deer if you notice there's like let's see if I can do this in a different color to remember the deer see how it's like the head is kind of like a seven so it's the deer's head. So you see that seven there. Okay, eight, because a couple of marshmallows lined up on top of each other. Looks like an eight. See? Stop. Nine. Okay. All right, then we have nine for pine tree and ten for a tent. So you keep writing them. You're not sure maybe when you're going to need them or use them. Let's take a look at an example and making it work. So we have liver excess pattern cold. Let me just move this so you can see the whole thing. There we go. Liver excess. So we have liver one, liver three, liver five, and ren three. So we're going to make this um, come to life as a picture. As you probably know, remember, maybe one is a branch, three is a snake, and five beehive. So first of all, let's draw a branch. And let's draw, let's do a nice there. Let's draw a branch out here like this. And now like, oh, where's your branch? All right. Your sketch with pencils on this pen, but okay. So we have a branch, one branch. Then we have um, a snake. So we can draw our snake kind of going around the branch. It's a nice little snake. Innocent enough, also. Little snake, let's fix this up a little bit. So you can see we have a snake and we have a branch. Then what is five is a beehive, right? So let's draw Beehive. So you can see that with like a liver anxiety, bees and snakes 
would give someone anxiety. So that would be a good way to remember it. So we have liver one, liver three, and liver five. And so now we have run, ren three. So let's do, which is the snake. If you have liver excess, you are a person who is in excess running. Let's draw a person. Oh, I'm sure you guys can draw a lot better than me. So this guy is looking at the bees and he is ready to run. Um, let's see, how to do these lines right here. How many parts of the leg is that? It's a lot easier with a pencil and paper. He's running. A little of that action. Oh my goodness, this is um, some sketch work. That is some shorts. Okay, so let's kind of clean him up a little bit here. He's running, he's running from, he's running from the snake, Ren, Ren three. There's the snake when you have liver excess and the snake lives on the tree. He lives on the tree. There's the beehive and there's the branch. And on the test, there'll be numbers like eight, 10. You're gonna remember that there was a snake, a beehive and a person maybe running and screaming in a branch. If you're not going to say, oh, was there a tent in my liver excess picture? So you'll even if you're confused, if it's a liver one or bladder one, they're not going to be those options. They're going to be like, I remember there was a branch. So there was a one. If you're confused, if it's like five or seven, you're like, there was no deer when he was running with liver excess. So just knowing half of the point, most of the points, getting the picture, most of the picture together, it's going to come to you when you take the test. And there will be some patterns, you'll remember it, the pictures very well. And there's some like, I don't remember all the points on there, but all the points won't be on there. You, you know what I mean? In the board, um, the point combinations. And then also you're gonna see that the same points are used many times through patterns. Like, you know, Ren, there is Ren, Ren 12, which I call running with shoes. It's on so many patterns, running with shoes. Ren 12 is everywhere. There's no like Ren 10s and Ren 11 on Machi Ocho point prescriptions. So remembering that, you know, there's someone running with shoes, if that's an option, and this is our running with shoes, uh, with stick and shoes, branch and shoe. So it's 112. So I just call it running with shoes because I've said it so many times, but it's running with branches and shoes. And, you know, keep working on the, the pictures because it really helps with the point prescriptions. Email me uh, if you have any, want to see any more examples, show some explanations. You want to email me something that you're struggling with and you will do great.